June 10th of this year, members of the Knesset voted for the person they wanted to be the next president of Israel. With two rounds of voting, as none of the five candidates reached the needed 60 votes on the first try, Knesset member from the Likud party, Reuven Ruby Rivlin, won with 63 votes cast in his favor. He has just been inaugurated and has taken office. The presidential office in Israel is very different from that of the United States and has mostly a symbolic and representative meaning. The role of the Israeli president is a nonpartisan head of state who represents the country and the people as a whole in Israel and around the world. Among the president's tasks are strengthening mutual commitment among the citizens of Israel, social cohesion and national pride, ties between Israel and the diaspora, nurturing moral values, equality and peace throughout society, improving ties between the Jewish majority and the minority populations, and encouraging Israeli culture and creativity. The president's duties and powers include signing laws, signing treaties with foreign countries approved by the Knesset, credentialing the state's counselor delegates, appointing or removing judges and other judicial officials, and pardoning convicted offenders, to name a few. So, who exactly is Reuven Rivlin? Here are five interesting things to know about our new president, of Israel. Number one, he does not believe in a two-state solution. Rivlin opposes the establishment of a Palestinian state, opting for a binational state instead, meaning the status quo. Number two, he will be Israel's first vegetarian president. Rivlin has ensued meat products for reasons of conscience since the late 1960s. Number three, he was a victim of political pying in 2001. While serving as a communications minister, Rivlin had a cream pie hurled at his face by a young female activist. Number four, he's particularly concerned with the sensitivities of Israeli Arabs. Many times, Rivlin fought for equal rights for Arabs in the job market as well as service in the IDF. He even suggested establishing a separate Arab National Service infrastructure to allow young Arab citizens to serve in their own communities. And number five, he's known as a pretty funny guy. Rivlin is often described as having a quirky sense of humor. When in 2013 Rivlin was ousted from his role as the Knesset speaker, he said, and I quote, I got to hear my eulogies while I was still alive. May the Lord grant our newly elected president wisdom. May he empower him to be an honest, loving, kind, and just person for all the people in Israel. And may he represent our nation to the world with honor and dignity.